Violence is violence, right? Whether against a woman or men. Although gender based violence against men has proved to be a muted reality. Let's talk about it. Hi folks, welcome back, Roske here. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please share, please like, please comment, and I think support your girl. Well, based on my personal experience and view, the way I understand gender, it's a form of promoting equal rights and privileges for both women and men. So, violence against men is as serious and dangerous as violence against you. And it requires the same attention, same resources, same help, like that one given to me. Although the vast majority of violence is inflicted on women and children by statistics, but there is that percentage of men who are at the high risk of being victims, or who are victims already, and their story go untold, unnoticed, underreported, overlooked, and this has remained a popular opinion to me. The most painful thing is the silence of this crisis. No one wants to talk about it, including the victims themselves. You know, men who are victims have this tendency of bottling up these issues too reluctant or scared to, to report the victimization or seek help, maybe from a friend, a neighbor, a health profession, or police, just because of how the society has defined how men should be. You have these phrases, men don't cry, men are masculine, men are strong. On top of that, the fear of being stigmatized, misunderstood, fear of that cultural masculine expectation, all it may not report these issues. As a result of all this, men develop mental health issues that often lead to depression, isolation, feeling vulnerable, feeling excluded, with that daily toxic environment they live in, the daily abuse. Guess what happens after? Injury and also. Including suicide. Just because it doesn't happen often doesn't mean that it doesn't happen at all. And it doesn't mean that you should do nothing to help in this issue. So the question pops in, what have you done to solve the issue? What's the way forward? How can we stop this violence? First things first, we must recognize that there is a need to increase public awareness about male victims. And momentum should be maintained for further prevention and address any form of violence. We should also train and educate in these issues for example, by engaging in the community in these conversations, we seek to strengthen their voice so that they can act as a, a voice of change. We should also recognize there is a need to, for intervention for women perpetrators. There are women who abuse their partners, maybe as a form of releasing anger, maybe their jealousy, maybe as a form of punishment for misconduct. For example, if a man comes up late and a little bit drunk, guess what happens behind those doors? So one thing I'm pretty sure of, no one deserves to be a, a target of violence. Let's put an ultimate end of double standards as far as gender-based violence in our society is concerned. And as we keep on talking about violence against women, we should not also close doors for men who are victims. Because violence against men is real, it's no longer laughable matter. Let's not consider those ones who seek help are weak. No. Let's stop the stigma and increase support. And as we learn how to decrease the stigma, increase the, the services and supports, let's reach out to those men who are victims talk to them, advise them to seek help. So let's unite, send not to violence of any form, and make this world a better place to live in. 
if you have something to add on please leave it in the comment section we can learn from each other please share please like maybe it can help someone out there who is a victim see you in my next video